The basic concept of the cooling system for modern diesel engines is one of heat exchange. Seawater is used to cool distilled water that is pumped around channels in the engine body. It works like this. Fresh seawater is drawn into the boat through a seacock, a valve in the bottom of the boat. It goes straight into a Perspex raw water strainer which catches any bits of weed or rubbish. It is a simple device to clean. Simply unscrew the top, pull out the plastic strainer tray, clean and replace. Next the seawater goes into a heat exchanger. This is simply a container full of non-corrosive distilled water through which runs a series of copper pipes. The cool seawater passes through the copper pipes. The seawater, via heat exchange, cools the distilled water. The cooled distilled water is then circulated through channels around the engine itself. So we effectively have two water systems. Raw seawater, that is used to merely cool the distilled water, that being far purer, can be safely pumped around the engine. But heat exchange works both ways, and the seawater that entered the heat exchanger cold is now hot. This is next taken into more copper pipes inside a hot water boiler and, again via heat exchange, is used to heat our domestic hot water supply. Finally, the seawater, that is now cool again, is mixed into the engine's exhaust system and is used to cool the exhaust gases before being pumped overboard. It is an ingenious use of heat transfer and works well. The most common reasons for failing are blockages on the raw seawater side. All modern engines have audible heat alarms. If it comes on, stop the engine as soon as possible. Another telltale sign is the lack of a good stream of water being pumped overboard with the exhaust. Firstly, check whether any rubbish has been sucked into the raw water strainer. If not, you could have caught a plastic bag and it's sitting over the seawater inlet. Take a look over the side. Often, the culprit is the impeller pump. This, depending on the make of the engine, is either run on a belt from the flywheel or is bolted into the engine casing. You can find it by following the large diameter water pipes. This is the pump that sucks seawater up into the boat and pushes it around the system. It looks like this. When its cover is removed, a rubber impeller is revealed. If this is broken or damaged in any way, it needs to be replaced. They can be a little difficult to remove, so it's worth carrying a proper extractor tool like this, which makes the job infinitely easier. Having fitted the new impeller, replace the cover with a new gasket, start the engine and test the system.